Okay, in these videos I'm going to go over a review of chapter 1. We'll start with 4.1 and please make sure you print off the formula sheet for chapter 4. Okay, and just remember when you take a, a test you will be given formulas. You won't need to memorize these formulas in chapter 4. They'll be given to you. Okay. Um, so you're, you're only uh, the trick is to pick out the correct formula for, for, for what problem you're doing so I'm gonna this video will just do these two examples example one and example two here and of course we've already gone over how to do this you're more than welcome to pause the video and just do the whole thing and then fast forward and see if you got the right answer or pause whenever you like and work ahead but um, regardless, I need to, I guess I kind of need to show all the steps just in case anyone in the class has any questions because we do have a lot of students in the class, okay? So uh, just remember, yeah, no, no reason to watch the whole video. You just, your requirement is to get the correct answers on all these problems and um, just watch the video as much as you need or, or as little as you need, okay? So in any case, um, a question one we're going to invest ten thousand dollars in an account that pays annual compound interest of two point four five percent what will the balance of the account be after one year two years three years ten years okay how much interest will uh, the account have earned after one two three ten years okay so um, what I'm gonna do is look at the end of year one to begin with and we'll calculate the balance of the account and um, I hope we can do this much turn 2.45 percent into a decimal so 2.45 percent as a decimal remember it's 2.45 per hundred per means divide, cent means 100 and if you plug that in the calculator you get 0 0.0245 so if you ever want to check all you have to do is plug the percentage into calculator, divide by 100 and this 2.45 percent is 0 0.0245 so you're not changing it like the fact that it says percent means it is 0 0.0245 okay it is not 2.45 2.45 is not the same thing as 2.45 percent 2.45 is actually 245 percent just so you know okay so just it, you know 2.45 percent is 0 0.0245 that's what it is okay as a decimal anyway so I hope you might remember that we can take our 10,000 and um, then we need to get 2.45 percent of that so that's um, well I just write it out just for just for this one line just so we can practice so we're getting a percentage of 10,000 so we're getting 10,000 plus the interest right and um, that is of course 10,000 plus 0 0.0245 times 10,000 and we can pull out a greatest common factor from both of these terms which is 10,000 we pull that out we get 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0245 so in any case I hope you're familiar with this when you have a number times 1 plus this this is like 10,000 times 1 plus the, the percentage rate Okay and that gives the um, ten thousand dollars plus the interest earned after one year okay so in any case um, if we plug that in the calculator one and of course you can write that one point zero two four five because when you add it together that's what it makes one point zero two four five right and of course um, after one year our balance is simply uh, ten thousand two hundred and forty five dollars right and um, how much interest will the account have earned after one year two years three years and so on well after one year uh, whoops sorry uh, here sorry here I need to put interest right my mistake interest
earned is of course the extra amount over 10,000 which is 245 right so so after two years okay we we uh, at the end of year two we calculate interest so we take what was there at the end of year one 10,245 and we get interest on that so we multiply this by one um, plus 0 0.0245 and that will give us interest on that okay itself plus interest but of course the 10,245 equals 10,000 times 1 plus this rate so this number right here is in fact 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0245 right and then of course I multiply uh, and of course the, so this is the first year's amount and so the second year's amount comes about by just multiplying this same thing again by 1 plus 0 0.0245 so I hope you understand where this formula comes from. The 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0245 all squared, basically. And that's the compound interest formula, right? Where the balance equals the principal, 10,000 times 1 plus the rate to the power of t, where t is the number of compoundings, number of um, periods. Okay? So and again it's annual compound interest so we just use the annual rate annual interest rate okay so um, plug that into a calculator you should have got ten thousand four hundred ninety six dollars and so after three years how much money is in oh and, and of course that would give us an interest of 496 earned after two years right because you just take this and subtract the principal of 10,000 so after three years what's in the account press pause and write that down after three years you've got 10,000 using the um, compound interest formula your principal times one plus the rate and this time the number of compounding is three we're going to calculate interest three times at the end of each year Okay. so you should have got ten thousand seven hundred fifty three fifteen and then press pause and calculate what you would have in there after 10 years so after 10 years you would have 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0245 to the power of 10 right so you should have got 12738.54 Okay, so what's the interest earned after three years? You just subtract the principal of ten thousand and you have seven hundred fifty-three dollars fifteen cents, right? After ten years, what's the interest earned? You just subtract the principal, right, and you, and you've earned two thousand seven hundred thirty-eight dollars fifty-four cent. Okay, and one note about this, if you could. Uh, hear me out for a sec is after one year we get two hundred forty five dollars but you see two hundred forty five times two is what two forty five times two what does that give two four hundred ninety right but why isn't is it that after two years we have four ninety six dollars in interest not four ninety why is that any idea the reason is because this is compound interest we are taking we're not just taking ten thousand and um, we're, we're not just getting two point four five percent of ten thousand twice to get you know two forty five the first year plus two forty five the second year what we're doing is we're taking um, 
we're, we're taking the we, we earned two, an extra two hundred and forty five dollars in the first year and then we took that ten thousand two hundred and forty five and we earned interest on it again okay so in in this line we're actually earning interest on top of interest okay so if you expand this line out you get uh, ba -ba 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 um anyway ten thousand anyway point is you're earning interest on top of interest it's compound interest not simple interest and um and then from year two to year three you don't just earn another two hundred and forty five you earn even even more interest so so basically from here to here we actually earn an extra six dollars on top top of that two hundred and fifty one dollars in interest right from here to here it's uh, 753.15 minus 496 once I do that again uh, 753.15 minus 496 that's 257.15 so in year one our interest earned is 245 year two it's 251 year three it's 257.15 so we're actually each year with compound interest because we're earning interest on top of interest from last year the interest amount we get each year increases okay not it's not the same amount every year okay if it was the same amount every year it'd be called simple interest but compound interest means each compounding you get uh more interest a little more interest each time okay, okay so question two i want you to start and if you're compounding interest semi-annually that means interest is being compounded two times per year. Please write that down. Okay, two times per year. How about monthly? How many times per year if you're compounding monthly? How many compoundings do you do per year if you're compounding quarterly and weekly? Write those down. So press pause and do those if you can. So monthly compounding, 12 times per year, right? quarterly compound is, is compounding four times per year so you know if you're compounding for 10 years quarterly that's 40 times four zero so in any case think about it so uh, weekly compounding is 52 times per year right okay so let's start we invest eighteen thousand four hundred dollars in the savings account for 20 years that pays an APR of 3.6% this is called annual percentage rate that's the annual rate okay how much interest will the account earn if it pays annual compound interest so we're going to do annual compound interest then interest compounded semi-annually then interest compounded monthly the same amount of money for 20 years at an APR of 3.6 percent okay so in each case what formula are we going to use For all of these, we use the compound interest formula. Balance equals principal times 1 plus r to the power of t. The only difference is r is going to change. If you're uh, doing quarterly interest, a uh, compounding quarterly, you have to come up with a special quarterly interest rate, which is the annual percentage rate divided by 4. If you're doing monthly compounding, that's the annual percentage rate divided by 12, and so on. Okay, And t is going to be the number of compoundings altogether like you know four per year but then if it's 10 years that's 40 compoundings right um, and so on so um, basically how much interest will you can uh, earn if it pays annual compound interest press pause and do part A okay I hope you've tried it I'm going to do it now so 3.6 percent the very first thing we're going to do is turn that into a decimal 3.6 percent equals 3.6 per 100, which is 0 0.036. 0 0.036. Okay, so uh, annual compound interest, um, we need the compound interest formula, the principal of 18,400 times 1 plus the rate, okay, to the power of t. Now all we need to do now is figure out what is R and what is T and then plug those in. So the rate, if you're talking about annual compound interest, what's the rate going to be?
well it's going to be just 0 0.036 because it's compounded once per year so you can think of it as the annual percentage rate divided by one but it's, it's one time per year so we just used the APR 0 0.036 and T is the number of compoundings over the term of the savings um, account so how many compoundings are we going to have well there's going to be one per year for 20 years so T equals 20 right so it's the principal here we've got our principal times 1 plus r to the power of 20 for t. Okay, Plug that in the calculator and what do you get? Press pause and do that then I'll do it. Okay, I'm doing it now. 18,400 times 1.036 to the power of 20 and round that to the nearest cent, what do you get? So to the nearest cent we should get 37,326.13 okay? dollars. Now press pause and do part B. And then check the video, see if you got it right. Okay, I'm going to do it now. So it's the same formula, the compound interest formula. Uh, so we've got to take our principal of 18,400 multiplied by 1 plus R to the power of t. Now the only question is what is r and what is t, right? So interest is going to be paid semi-annually. So the bank isn't going to give you 3.6 percent twice a year. Semi-annually is twice a year, right? It's not going to do that. That that would be a lot more than it bargained for. It it's promising you an annual. This is annual percentage rate. Okay, an annual percentage rate three point six percent, which means that, um, but it will, if it's going to compound semi annually, it'll give you a special interest rate called a semi annual interest rate, and a semi annual interest rate is the annual percentage rate divided by two. Okay. That's what a semi-annual interest rate is. So it's going to be 0 0.036 divided by 2, which is 0 0.018, right? That's the interest rate it'll give you every six months, twice a year, okay? And what's T? How many compoundings are we going to have? So our, into here we get 0 0.018, right? But how many compoundings will we have? So there's going to be 20 years and it's going to compound twice per year. How many is that? 20 times 2, that's 40 compoundings altogether, right? So it's pr principal times 1 plus r to the power of 40, okay? Plug that in the calculator, see what you get. So you should get 37,560 to the nearest cent. point two nine right so make sure you can do that and how does this compare to annual compound interest how much more do we get do we get more which is more semi-annual is a little bit more isn't it this is because even though the interest rate is zero point uh, point zero one eight which is not point zero one six it is compounded forty times right so um, you get more of that interest on top of interest and so you get a little bit more five, 37,560 instead of 37,326 so what's going to happen if you compound the interest monthly so press pause and do the part C ok I'm going to do it now so how to do part C you take your principal 18,400 you realize that it's monthly compounded interest which means we need a special monthly interest rate now that monthly interest rate is going to be R which is the APR divided by 12 to give us a monthly interest rate okay 
monthly interest rate, APR divided by 12, right? And that is going to be 0 0.036 divided by 12, which is 0 0.003. And so we'll get 18,000 times 1 plus the special monthly interest rate of 0 0.003. And how many times are we going to compound it? What's the T going to be in our formula, right? T equals what? Well, there's 20 years and 12 months per year. So 20 times 12, which is 240, right? So the power of 240. And if you calculate that, what do you get? So you should get 37,760.85. Now, how does that compare to the other amounts? So this time we have a tiny interest rate, which is 0 0.003, and that's a lot smaller than 0 0.036, isn't it, for example? But it's being compounded 240 times altogether, whereas this interest rate was only compounded 20 times, for example. So we do earn more of that interest on top of interest that we discussed. And so we do get more than annual compound interest, a little bit, and even a little bit more than semi-annual interest. It looks like about $200 more, doesn't it, than the semi-annual, right?